everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey and you're watching The Chowdown. For today's video, I just have a quick vlog style video to show you the grocery haul that I just got. Tomorrow, I officially start week one of my macros. Uh, if you don't know, macros is, I guess, a type of diet where you track your proteins, your fats, and your carbohydrates, which are the macronutrients. And I'm starting off with an eight week cycle of macros. I have a macros coach, so they're guiding me along the way. They're giving me my macros. Uh, this is my first time doing any type of diet like this, so I'm 100% a noob at this. But I'm going to be learning along the way, and I'm excited to learn more about the foods that I'm consuming and putting in my bodies. Uh, bodies? <laughs> Body. There's only one of me. I'm also um, excited to learn more about portion control and what's actually in our food. I am hoping to hopefully lose some weight, uh, gain some strength, um, just reduce overall body fat is the main goal of this uh, diet. So I just got back from the grocery store. I was kind of like, I don't know what I'm doing. But I tried my hardest and I think I did pretty good. I spent a lot more than I usually do, I'll be honest, but I did get a lot more than I usually do. And I got a lot more protein than I usually do because I'll be eating more protein than I usually do. But I'm just going to show you what I got vlog style. Everything's in my kitchen. I apologize in advance for the lighting in my kitchen. It's not the best, but it'll do for this. All right, so this is an overview of everything that I purchased. gonna go over everything really quickly and kind of give you some ideas of what I'm thinking I'm going to do <laughs> with the foods that I got. So I got some sweet potatoes, got two sweet potatoes here. These are massive. Um, I will most likely put these in the air fryer. I have an air fryer, so I'll probably make sweet potato fries or sweet potato like little cubes um, out of these. I have asparagus, um, which I'll probably bake in the oven um, with the fish that I got, um, as well as um, a red bell pepper, which I'll also bake in the oven with the asparagus and fish. Lemon for the fish, an onion. I mean, it's always good to have an onion for cooking. I put onion in pretty much all my recipes. I have four gigantic uh, green bell peppers here, and I'm going to make stuffed peppers. One of my favorite recipes uh, to make as is, but I think it'll work. Um, I think I can find a macro friendly recipe. Uh, so I'm going to make these this week. Two will be for dinner, one for me, one for my boyfriend, and then I'll have two lunches after that. So I'll get a lot out of this recipe. Um, I have spinach here. I will probably put this on sandwiches and saute it for side, aside for um, some dinners. I have some strawberries. Um, my friend told me that berries are lower in carbs compared to other fruits, and I already like berries. So, ooh, I don't want that touching me. Move over. So, I got some strawberries, and I'll probably just bring these for a snack for lunch to work, um, or put them in my yogurt. I got some bananas. I'll mainly use these for smoothies, but I might also bring a banana as a snack for lunch. I have spaghetti squash. I will probably um, just bake this and um, I'll get two meals out of this and I'll either make a homemade spaghetti sauce or I don't know, I'll figure it out. Still gotta figure out um, like sauces and stuff and jarred sauces sometimes have added sugar um, which will increase the carbs. So I kinda gotta figure out what I'm going to put on top of this but I'll definitely just bake this in the oven and. Uh, eat it with some type of sauce and maybe a protein. I have frozen broccoli here. I'll just cook this up as a side for dinners. I have ground turkey, 93% uh, lean, 7% fat. I'll use this for um, my stuffed peppers this week. I have two packages of frozen raw shrimp. It was buy one get one free so I figured I'd stock up and I'm not going to make these this week I don't think. Um, I'll probably do something with the shrimp next week, um, but I don't know what yet. <laughs> um, I also got some feta. Uh, this is lower, typically lower in fat. I think it's like eight grams of fat. I did get the whole fat. Yeah, uh, six grams of fat. 
um, I did get the whole fat. You can also get low fat if you're worried about the fat. Don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this yet. You can always throw it in some salads, which is probably what I'll do with it. Then I got two packages of cauliflower rice. I might try this in my stuffed peppers. Usually you do rice, uh, but to cut on the carbs, I might use cauliflower rice instead of rice. I've also made stuffed peppers without the rice entirely, and it's delicious like that too. Um, so we'll see. Otherwise, I have found some recipes online for cauliflower rice, like a cauliflower rice stir fry. Sounds amazing to me. Um, little cauliflower um, like hash browns instead of potatoes, you use cauliflower rice, and you mix it with an egg and you form it into um, cupcake tins and then you put an egg in it and then you bake it so it's like baked egg cups um, so i might try that for um, like meal prepping for breakfast to bring to work and then i got the al fresco roasted pepper and asiago chicken sausage this is one of my favorites i've actually gotten this a lot even before i obviously started macros it's pretty Pretty good, only one carb, 15 grams of protein, eight grams of fat. Uh, so one of my favorite meals that I've been doing is two links, which is a serving, I believe. No, one link's a serving, but two links, some sauteed spinach and sweet potato fries. That's been a favorite meal recently, so I'll probably do that for a quick meal. And then I have never tried these before, but I'm very excited to try these. Also the Alfresco brand tomato and basil chicken meatballs with Asiago and mozzarella cheese. Um, so those sound amazing. They look amazing. Obviously better for you than, you know, red meat meatballs. I'm not a huge red meat person, which you could tell I didn't get any red meat. So hopefully the macros will work well with not eating red meat because I, I like to stay away from my red meat unless I'm having like a burger. But this would definitely be good. <gasps> oh my God, I figured it out. Genius, genius. <laughs> Sorry, you just witnessed a revelation. I'll cook this up. I'll find a sauce that's like decent in macros, you know, not too much, too many carbs. And then I'll put these on it. Yes. Oh my God, I'm so excited now. All right, I'm glad I figured that out. Um, I got some butter mainly because I needed butter. I don't have any butter in my house. I had to get that, but it'll be a learning experience to see how I can use butter with macros because obviously it's high in fat. Um, I got some canned albacore tuna. Uh, I will probably, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Uh, I got it mainly for the protein. I can put it on these thins. I could always make a tuna salad with um, Greek yogurt instead of mayonnaise. Uh, so I might do that. Um, actually, that's probably what I'll end up doing, but I might look up some recipes online, some ideas online on how to use the use this in a more creative fashion. I got um, this Explore Cuisine Organic Chickpea Spaghetti. I've had this brand before. I think I've had chickpea pasta, but I don't think I've had this spaghetti. Love With Food actually sent me two boxes of Explore Cuisine pasta for me to try out and I really liked it so I figured I would give the chickpea spaghetti a go. Um, it has 11 grams of protein. It is still high in carbs but I mean I do still need carbs so I, as long as I fit it into my day it should be fine. I'll probably do like a primavera so I'll just load this up with veggies and chicken. And then <clears throat> I have just some diced tomatoes here. This will be for the uh, stuffed peppers. I got Siggy's plain Greek yogurt. I'm going to try to use this in place of sour cream and mayonnaise. I'll still probably throw in a little bit of mayonnaise when I make my tuna, tuna salad. And I have some leftover cooked chicken in the fridge already. So I'm gonna make some chicken salad uh, with this and a little bit of mayo and some seasoning. And that will be uh, what I'll eat for some of my lunches this week. And I got the Siggy's because it is way lower in carbs, 10 grams of carbs versus like 20 something, maybe even like 28 grams of carbs um, and some of the other Greek yogurts um, and 25 grams of protein, zero fat. So it's like really good macro wise. Um, so I will use this mainly in place of like sour cream, with, like I said, or mayo for um, chicken and tuna salads. And then if I want to have it as yogurt, I'll just throw in some honey. I gotta check 
the macros on that or just like berries uh, to sweeten it up a little bit. Maybe even stevia <clears throat> uh, will work to sweeten that up. Uh, so we'll see, we'll, we'll experiment with that. Then I have these Arnold Sandwich Thins. Um, these are the multigrain ones. Just a little bit of a better alternative than rolls, um, less carbs. I'll use these for my tuna and chicken salads that I'll bring for lunch this week. And um, I might make some uh, breakfast sandwiches too and use that. So I have some eggs. I'll use these for um, breakfast sandwiches. And I had another idea for those. I can't remember at the moment though. And then I'll probably hard boil half of them and just eat hard boiled eggs as a snack to get some extra protein. Then I have Snack Factory pretzel crisps. Um, I needed like a crunchy snack. I love salty, crunchy snacks. They're my weakness. I don't really have a sweet tooth, but I love salty snacks. So I needed something. So I got these, they're one of my favorites. I'll probably dip it in hummus. They do have what, like 25 grams of carbs, 24 grams of carbs. Um, but I'll just make sure I can fit it in. Then I got unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I'll mainly use these for my smoothies. I may make some overnight oats too with that. Then I got PB2. I haven't tried PB2 before, but I definitely wanted to get this because I definitely want to make sure I'm getting in my protein. Uh, I definitely don't eat as much protein as I was given for my macros. So I think that's going to be the biggest hurdle in this first week is making sure I get in enough protein. Uh, so I wanted to get the PB2 powder so I can try it out. Um, it has the same amount of protein, I believe, as um, regular peanut butter. Oh, five grams. Yeah, I think I think so. But it has way less fat, so you can fit it into your macros easier. You can mix it. I believe it's you mix it with water. I don't know. I really need to do a little bit more research. Um, yes. Mix two tablespoons of PB2 powder with one tablespoon of water and stir into a smooth. So you can make peanut butter out of it or you can put it into smoothies as is, um, as a powder and add, get more protein in that way. And then is this the last thing? I think so. I kind of went in a weird order. But I got two packages of these Cape Colville uh, Seafood Market Haddock Fillets. They're frozen. Um, these are also buy one get one free, so I figured I might as well stock up. And I'll mainly do um, either sheet pan meals or the pouches that you put in the oven. So yeah, that's just an overview again. So I think I did a pretty good job with getting food, hopefully. I still have my love with food snack box, so I do have some snacks in there. So I didn't get like a whole lot of snacks. The goal will be to snack on fruits and uh, <laughs> the pretzels, I guess. I don't know. Definitely going to be a learning experience this week. Um, my plan is to prep some food tonight, um, so I don't have to really worry about lunches tomorrow. The plan is, I think, stuffed peppers tomorrow night and then fish with the asparagus and I'm blinking, uh, red pepper for Tuesday night and then I'll probably do I don't know. We'll figure it out for the rest of the week. But if you have any suggestions for food that I should get, if you're on macros or just have any good options for food, <laughs> I don't know, brands, um, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more food related videos. Probably for the next couple of weeks, they're going to be macros related. I'm gonna try to post uh, maybe some recipes, maybe like what I've learned so far maybe halfway through we'll see we're gonna we're gonna just roll with it play it by ear but that's all i have for today so i will see you next time bye